Welcome to another Hackster 101 video. You don't get any screen sharing today because what we're doing is all on mobile devices. We're gonna play around with the light blue bean. It's a fantastic little device that's perfect for wearable tech and very small home automation devices. It communicates via Bluetooth, it runs on a coin cell, and it's got built-in temperature sensing as well as a three-axis accelerometer that tells you which way it's oriented, as well as a little RGB LED that's programmable, and a tiny proto board built right in. So there's no USB port here. How do I program this? We're gonna fire up the Bean Loader app, which you can run on your iPad. There's also a version for computers if you really gotta go that way, but this makes it perfect for doing stuff on the go. Bean Loader comes with a bunch of example apps. It runs standard Arduino code and it augments the keyboard with commonly used special characters for programming. What I'm gonna load up first is the Bean Blink app. And this blinks the built-in RGB LED, red, green, and blue. In order to upload sketches, the cloud compiler will have to have access to the internet, so you might want to stick with a phone. Once we're ready to go, we'll select our bean from the list and hit upload. It usually takes about a minute. There we go. I've used this on its own as a light-up belt buckle inside a 3D printed enclosure, but there's so much more you can do with it. Let's check out an accelerometer example. Come on. And here we go! Now we can tell which axis is pointing up based on the color of the LED. Right now it's blue, so that must be the Z axis. And if I shake it, then the color changes as well. Pink or red is the X axis, and green is the Y axis. It's taking a minute to figure itself out. But we want to build our own code to do something. I've grabbed a buzzer module, and it's got some example code online. Let's plug this in and see what happens. We've got analog pins 0 and 1, and digital pins 0 through 5, giving us a total of 8 programmable pins. The proto board pins aren't hooked up to anything to begin with. Besides that, you've got battery, ground, reset, VCC, and another ground pin. I grabbed some example code for this module online. I've got the speaker set up on pin 0, then declare it as an output, and then we're writing that pin high, waiting for a twentieth of a second, and then low, and waiting for a hundredth of a second. As you'll see, this is enough to create a kind of clicking sound, but not enough to make something very interesting, yet. Let's increase the frequency and see what happens. An A is about 440 hertz, meaning that we'd want to turn the buzzer on and off 440 times a second. As we increase the frequency, we'll get a higher and higher musical tone. That's a delay of just 2 milliseconds between turning it on or off. That was about 250 hertz, and here we are at 500 with 1 millisecond either way. So pleasant. Okay, let's do something a bit more fun. Also, there's a really handy app appropriately called Handy BLE, that makes developing graphical interfaces for this much easier so that you can have on-the-fly interaction. Let's take a look. Download the Handy BLE example from GitHub and upload it to your Bean. Now I grab the Handy BLE app off the internet. Whoop, there we go. Choose your Bean and connect to it via Bluetooth. Then open up the colors example to get started. This interacts with the RGB LED, so each time I push a button, it's going to change. Oh, this one turns it on and off. That's more pink than purple, but we'll roll with it. Magic! So what's going on under the hood? If you hit the edit button, you'll be able to click on each of these. Give it a label, up and down actions, like when you press versus release the button, uh, and visual customization as well. Here's the blue example. The reason that it goes on only when I hold the button down is because it's got both a touch down action and a touch up. Oh, oh I'm still in the editing interface. <laughs> I call this micro raving. I've used this to build a drive program for a little hex bug that's since been mutilated, <laughs> as well as a controller for lasers on my hologram rig. If you want to change what the program does, just edit the Handy BLE example. This takes the commands associated with the button in the Handy BLE app and links them to actual behaviors in the Arduino code. 
As a side note, you can save these sketches locally, but you also have an option to put them in Dropbox so that you have them accessible across all your devices. Using the accelerometer will eat up your battery super quickly, so you might want to hook up an external rechargeable battery to replace the coin cell. Just hook up the positive terminal to battery and the negative one to ground. One of the coolest things about this board is that Simone Geertz, the queen of robots, wrote the first few examples on Hackster while she was working there. So head over for some truly weird starter projects and have fun.